Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a mech squonker from the Philippines. It's from the Club of Vape Sirs and this comes in about 220 US dollars. Now you will have PayPal fees on top of that and you will, I think there's free international shipping included. Uh, but please be aware as always if it's outside the EU that you may come under, you know, customs fees. So keep that Remember that one, many people get caught out. Now I've had this for just about over a week and I did a live unboxing in my Facebook group and I, God, did I cock this up. Uh, and it, my immediate impressions after playing with it in my first hour on a live stream were that, God, I hated this thing. And it just goes to show you that um, unboxing videos are never a true representation of what a device is actually like. After spending a week with this, this has become a bit of a firm favourite. I really like this. Uh, Hopefully you'll see why I like it as much as I do by the end of the video. But uh, there are different variants of this one. When I say variants, I should say there's different colours. Uh, so there's different colours that you can actually get and hopefully I've found a photo and put that up. All the details for buying one shall be in the description for the video and they do have Facebook groups and things like that also. But uh, yes, I think we'll just go in for some close-ups. When it arrives it comes in a, a little box just like this and uh, if we open her up you're going to find one little card. It's the S box and it's by the Club of Vapesters. Now I may be going blind but uh, I can't see anything referencing a, a serial number or anything like that. It's just as it comes. Take the mod out of the box and here we go. So I've got the black one so obviously this is like a, a snake skin finish and this is a Delrin body and I'll just spin it around here. You can see we've got a front frunk, a front squonky bottle here, squonky hole and it's got a slightly different design on here but you know the front and the back are pretty much the same and the sides are much the same. We do have S box engraved into the Delrin here and you know the, the edges aren't sharp that there is hopefully that shows up that it has got a slight you know curve to it going on and I don't find it uncomfortable to vape with with long periods of time in this thing. Now once again it is a mechanical and you have a side firing button here and it's got the the little company logo on it and I've got a stainless steel accent ring going round it. It's quite a small button but this is for this is really this is a right handed squonker this. Lefties are not going to like using this as much as righties, if that makes any sense. Squonking with it, yeah I have no issue getting my finger in there and squonking away. Uh, on the bottom we have two brass plates here and on one side we have the squonk bottle and the other one we have the battery. Now the squonk bottle's done really well, uh, so if I unscrew this, uh, this is a, a kind of a clever design. You can see that the bottle comes out like that and just pulls out. Now I've had no leaking on this at all uh, but uh, there is an actual spring. Uh, hopefully you can see that there's a spring inside there. So pop your bottle in, this goes in like that, it's going to sit out and then you just push that down and then twist her back on. It's, it's really clever. I, I do like the design, I think they've done a good job in that one and I'm just making a meal of this just now. There we go. And that's it, we're good to go again. So obviously you can top fill if you want, but if you like filling the bottle, then no issues at all. Now size wise, you're looking about 78 millimeters in height. Uh, you're looking about 46 and a half millimeters across here. And you've got about 25 millimeters across the top. Yeah. I can't help myself. Uh, it's a mech, so I'm going to take it to bits. Now I'm going to take the 510 out. Now you can do this. You can see you've got a, a little slot there. But make sure you've got something big that's going to fit in there properly. Uh, you know, I've got a big screwdriver here that just goes in there perfectly. It's not going to slip. Uh, you do not want to put something that small in that it's going to slip and it will end up damaging the 510 threads. That would be a very, very bad idea. But yeah, that's it just coming out now. So I'll just unscrew this, come to daddy and out she comes. So hopefully you can now see how this is working. So you see you've got that little spring on it there. It's really clever. I don't think I've seen that before on anything. Now I did have an issue at first when I got it. Um, 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unscrew the whole thing. Uh, so I should be able to back this off. This is reverse threaded here. So I'll just back this off a bit. And I hopefully if I grab another screwdriver, and this is also reverse threaded, so I'm just going to take that off. Come to daddy. So it did have this little brass piece that lived in here. And it did mean that the, the 510 pin only went up so far. And I did find that with a lot of my RDAs, uh, it just was struggling to make contact. So I just unscrewed this little bit and, um, and then put everything back together. And, and it's not given me any problems since then. So I can just screw this back up and then just wind this bit back up. Once again, that's reverse threaded also. And push this all back together. Now, just in case you do take this to bits, remember there's a spring, and then there's a little washer here, and then there's a little O-ring. So just if you ever take that to bits, remember it's like that. And I'm just gonna undo these little screws at the bottom here, and that one will come off, as will this one. On a good day, it will. Yep, there we go, out she comes. And then I should be able to just pull everything out just by grabbing these here. And yeah, I'm sure it comes out. There we go. Button falls out. So there's my button there. And here we have the internals. Uh, so we've got, this is really, really simple this. So basically what happens if I find the, the 510 here, so this just kind of goes down like through there so that'll screw down so these are your internals you push the firing button and that just pushes on this contact here that taps off here and fires your mod so it is quite simple I mean it really is simple and uh, I have bent this I mean I must admit when it arrived this was a bit out of whack it wasn't quite set up right and I had to give it a little bend uh, just to make sure it was firing properly but, uh, you know, the internals are well done. I don't have any issues with them at all. And this is essentially, at the end of the day, this is just a Delrin box. Now, I've just put on the, the Typhoon BTD just now, a 22mm RDA with a little black beauty ring. And hopefully I'll find something to, 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 to poke the button with to give you an idea of the throw in this. Now, remember, you can take it to bits and you can adjust this throw, but this is what I have. Just a little light touch on it and it's firing away quite the thing. Now remember this has no locking ring uh, or anything like that, but so you have to be careful, but it fires away great. Now everything else I'm going to cover up top. So how has life been with the S-Box? Uh, as I said earlier, uh, when this arrived, <laughs> <laughs> this didn't, it didn't go well. It really didn't go well. And, and yes, but in saying that, I, I will now say that after using this for a while, I, I like this. I really like this. I will admit that the side firing button uh, has a lot to do with it. I've adjusted it so it's a really nice little short throw on it. Hang on till I just spin the button. You can spin the button round and make sure the logo's facing up the way. Uh, but just in my hand, just squonk here, little fire there, and it's just, it's really comfortable. Now, the price, it works out about 170, 175 pounds. Yes, there are fees on top and things like that, uh, but then you could get caught by customs. But as it stands, you know, at that price, it's comparable to some other Delrin squonkers that I have reviewed in the past. Uh, so I don't think it's far off when it comes to pricing. The design, that's, that's aesthetics, that's down to you. I actually quite like it. And and being Delrin, it's, it's quite smart. And I do like the little stainless steel accent on it as well. Uh, vape, how does it vape? It puts the power to the battery just nicely and I can have a squonk away here now remember it's one of these ones where you've got the pipe the metal pipe going stainless steel pipe going right down through the bottle so you only get like half a squonk it just means that when you squonk you hold your finger on the bottle for slightly longer than you would normally do but anybody that's used a bottle system like this will be used to that I have no issue with squonking on it the 510 manually adjustable um, some people like it some don't 
it's there, it works, and I have no, I'm not going to say it gives me any great voltage drop or anything like that, it performs really well. So, stainless steel, 510 pin, we've got the uh, silver plated brass, no, silver plated copper inside, and brass contacts down the bottom. Uh, it, all in, I love this. I really like it. I love when I there's something I get, I unbox it and play with it, and I just don't get on with it. I'm not a fan. Uh, but then after using it, it slowly grows on you, and and I can't take away from the fact that this is a really really nice little mod. It's well made. It's well screwed together, and I love the fact that I can take it to bits completely, which you should be able to do with any mech because that's one of the beauties of a mech mod is that if something goes wrong you can get in about it and fix it relatively easy. Now cons or things that I didn't like, um, I will say that that little brass piece, I don't know how they're going to work it going forward but um, yes I did with some of the shorter uh, 510 RDAs that I have with that little brass piece on the, the post inside I just couldn't get at it to fit in it. It was unscrew the 510 post, take that out, pop it back in, jobs are good in. Now, I've spoken to the guys about it. I'm not sure if they're going to include it in future revisions or not, but it's an easy, easy job to take it to bits and take that out. So I'm not going to penalise them greatly on that one. The bottle system, I love. I love that, I mean, I'm a top fill, I mean, I fill all my skunk bottles via, a, you know, a top fill bottle, but this one, the way that just pops out, it's on that spring, I don't think I've seen that before, but I'm going to give that a big thumbs up, I really like that, and I like the way it works. You could say the bottle is slightly, you know, it's quite far back in there, but when you're squonking away, it's easy enough to get your finger in and just squonk away, so that's that's no biggie. Yes, it's an 18650. I know a lot of people want 2700s, 21700s, but for, for this kind of mod, for me, yeah, it suits being an 18650. And I really like it. I'm, I'm, I was about to say sorry, I really like this. I'm not going to apologise for liking something. It's surprised me a great deal that I, I do like it as much as I do. I just love side firing squonkers, I really do. And there we go, that's it for the S box from Vape Club, sirs. Sir Vape Clubs. Hang on till I read the box. Club of Vape Sirs, my memory is gone. It's just totally wasted now. So in summary, I I will I'm I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to let something else go to somebody else and I'm going to keep this one because this is one I enjoy using a great deal. To you guys, as always, thank you so so much for watching and for putting up with my failing memory and terrible camera work. But uh, my shirts more than make up for it. Uh, anyway, Thank you to the Club of Vapesers and until next time, bye for now.